Did you know that India ranks 34th among 140 countries in the world for its tourism industry? This intriguing fact comes from the World Economic Forum's Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report. It's an accolade that showcases the rich diversity and cultural wealth that India's tourism industry has to offer. From the snow-capped Himalayas to the tropical backwaters of Kerala, India's tourism is as diverse as it is compelling. A 34th rank might not sound impressive but when you consider the competition, it's a testament to India's incredible tourism potential. Tourism in India is not a recent phenomenon. In fact, it has deep historical roots. Our journey starts in the ancient civilization of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, where trade and cultural exchange led to the first inklings of tourism. Foreign merchants and explorers were drawn to these thriving cities, marveling at their advanced urban planning and sophisticated art forms. This early interaction laid the foundation stone for tourism in the Indian subcontinent. Moving forward in time, we reach the era of Buddhist rule, the teachings of Buddha started attracting scholars and pilgrims from around the globe. The establishment of monasteries and stupas, along with the King Ashoka's active promotion of Buddhism, made India a spiritual destination, a trend that continues even today. Then, during the Mauryan and Gupta periods, India's fame as a land of rich culture and knowledge spread further. The construction of grand temples and universities like the Nalanda and Takshashila attracted scholars, students and tourists contributing significantly to the growth of tourism. Next, we step into the Mughal era, a period renowned for its architectural marvels. The creation of iconic monuments like the Taj Mahal, Humayun's tomb, and Fatapur Sikri drew admirers from all corners of the world. These structures symbolizing love, power, and faith became timeless attractions, adding a new dimension to tourism in India. Finally, under British rule, the concept of leisure tourism took root. With the introduction of railways and the development of hill stations like Shimla and Darjeeling, tourism became more accessible and popular. This period also saw the birth of India's first tourism department, marking a new chapter in the history of Indian tourism. Thus, the history of tourism in India is as rich and diverse as the country itself. From ancient urban centers to spiritual hubs, from centers of learning to architectural wonders and from the advent of leisure travel to organized tourism, India's tourism history is truly a fascinating tale shaped by the various eras that have left their indelible mark on this vibrant land. The real boom in Indian tourism, however, started after the country gained independence in 1947. With the shackles of colonial rule finally off, India was eager to assert its unique identity on the world stage, and tourism was one of the channels it chose to accomplish this ambition. The post-independence government recognized the potential of tourism as a catalyst for economic development and cultural exchange. This was a period of great optimism and aspiration, and the government was determined to showcase the richness and diversity of India's cultural heritage to the world. In 1955 the government took a significant step by establishing the Ministry of Tourism, an entity dedicated to the promotion and facilitation of tourism in the country. The ministry worked tirelessly to develop infrastructure, regulate and coordinate with various stakeholders, and launch initiatives to attract international tourists. One of the most impactful initiatives was the Incredible India campaign launched in 2002. This campaign was a vibrant and colorful celebration of India's rich history, diverse culture, stunning landscapes and warm hospitality. It aimed to create a compelling narrative of India as an exotic and must-visit destination, leveraging everything from its ancient temples and palaces to its vibrant festivals and culinary delights. The campaign was a huge success catapulting India into the limelight and significantly boosting tourist arrivals. It was complemented by other initiatives such as the introduction of e-visa facilities for several countries, making it easier for international travelers to visit India. The government also encouraged the development of different forms of tourism such as adventure tourism, medical tourism and eco-tourism, further diversifying India's appeal to global tourists. The focus was not just on attracting foreign visitors, but also on promoting domestic tourism, which is an equally important part of the tourism ecosystem. The post-independence tourism boom was not just about economic growth. It was about sharing the story of India with the world, about promoting understanding and appreciation of its unique culture and heritage. It was about inviting the world to experience the incredible diversity and vitality that is India. These initiatives have played a crucial role in making India a popular tourist destination. And as we'll see in the next segment, the story of Indian tourism is far from over. Stay tuned.
Today, tourism in India is a thriving industry, contributing significantly to the country's GDP. In recent years, India has become one of the world's fastest-growing travel destinations. The country's unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty continues to attract millions of international and domestic tourists alike. From the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas, to the sunny beaches of Goa, and from the historical marvels in Rajasthan, to the backwaters of Kerala, India offers a diverse range of experiences that cater to every kind of traveler. The rise in tourism has not just been a boon for the country's economy, but has also played a crucial role in job creation. The tourism industry directly and indirectly employs millions of people across the nation. From hotel staff and tour guides to local artisans and street vendors, a multitude of individuals rely on the influx of tourists for their livelihoods. In addition to traditional tourism, India has seen a surge in niche tourism sectors. Spiritual tourism, ecotourism, adventure tourism, and medical tourism are among the many areas that have experienced significant growth. This diversification has helped broaden the appeal of India as a tourist destination, attracting different types of travelers from around the globe. However, the journey hasn't been without its challenges. Infrastructure development, preservation of heritage sites, and environmental sustainability are some of the key issues that need to be addressed. But, with concerted efforts by the government and private sector, there's a sense of optimism in overcoming these hurdles. For instance, the Incredible India campaign has been successful in boosting the country's image as a must-visit destination. Additionally, the government has taken steps to ease visa regulations, making it more convenient for international tourists to visit the country. India's tourism industry is not just about numbers and economic benefits, it's about cultural exchange, shared experiences, and the timeless stories that every traveler takes back home. As we move forward, we hope to see an even greater surge in the number of people choosing to explore the beauty, diversity, and richness that India has to offer. Despite challenges, the future of tourism in India looks bright. However, like elsewhere in the world, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on India's tourism industry. In the blink of an eye, the vibrant streets of India, usually teeming with tourists, were eerily silent. The pandemic saw a drastic decrease in international tourists, with many countries imposing travel restrictions. The once bustling markets, majestic palaces and tranquil beaches stood deserted as the world hit the pause button. The impact on the industry was immediate and profound. Financial losses were staggering, running into billions of dollars. Small businesses, heavily reliant on tourist footfall, bore the brunt of this downturn. From hotels and restaurants to tour operators and local artisans, the ripple effect was felt across the entire tourism ecosystem. But perhaps the most heart-wrenching impact was the loss of jobs. The tourism industry, a significant employer in India, saw millions of people suddenly out of work. The livelihoods of those indirectly linked to the industry, like taxi drivers, street vendors, and local craftsmen, were also severely affected. The pandemic also highlighted potential long-term effects. As the world grapples with the new normal, the future of tourism looks different. There is an increased focus on sustainability, hygiene, and health safety. Digital platforms and virtual experiences are becoming more prevalent, reshaping the way we travel. But it's not all doom and gloom. The industry has been quick to adapt and innovate. Measures like stringent sanitization protocols, contactless services and flexible booking policies have been implemented to restore travelers' confidence. Domestic tourism is being promoted to keep the wheels of the industry turning. The government too has stepped in, providing financial aid to affected businesses and launching campaigns to boost local tourism. The spirit of Atithi Devo Baba, meaning the guest is equivalent to God, continues to guide the industry's recovery strategies. The road to recovery may be long and challenging, but the resilience of India's tourism industry is undeniable. With its rich culture, diverse landscapes and warm hospitality, India continues to captivate the hearts of travelers worldwide. Despite these challenges, India's tourism industry has shown remarkable resilience and adaptability. So what have we learned about tourism in India? We've journeyed together through the vibrant tapestry of India's tourism history, tracing its roots back to ancient times. We've seen how the allure of India's rich culture, diverse landscapes and historical monuments have drawn travelers for centuries. We then explored the post-independence tourism boom, a period that saw India opening its doors wider to the world, showcasing its kaleidoscopic culture and majestic landscapes on a grander scale. 
This era marked a significant shift, transforming India into a prominent global destination. Our journey brought us to the present state of tourism in India, an industry that contributes significantly to the country's economy. Despite the various challenges the industry has shown remarkable resilience, constantly adapting and innovating to meet the changing demands of the global traveler. Of course, we cannot ignore the elephant in the room, the impact of COVID-19. The pandemic has undoubtedly left its mark, bringing unprecedented challenges to the industry. Yet despite the setbacks, we've seen how India's tourism sector has demonstrated remarkable resilience, finding ways to navigate through these difficult times. In essence, the story of tourism in India is one of resilience and adaptation. It's a narrative that mirrors the country's own history, a tale of overcoming obstacles and constantly evolving to embrace the new, while still holding on to the old. Despite its challenges, tourism in India continues to be a vibrant industry reflecting the country's rich history, diverse culture and incredible potential.